Well, it's really interesting to consider how digital disruption to higher education and business is helping business schools to improve. Because normally we think of digital disruption in a negative way. We think about the challenges and, and the problems. Uh, and of course, the, the very word disruption uh, implies uh, difficulties and, and challenges, although of course there is such a thing as uh, creative disruption, which is hopefully what we have here. Um, but in fact, digital disruption does create opportunities for, for business schools, and uh, principally that's around innovation and creating a more engaging learning experience for our students, our learners, enabling them to, to learn in, in, in ways that are more suited to the, their learning style uh, in today's generation. So obviously, uh, you know, especially at the, at the undergraduate level, uh, we're dealing with a, a very different uh, cohort of, of learners today. Uh, they're, they're millennials, they, they've grown up as, as digital natives. And having the digital technologies uh, available to us and using those in an imaginative and, and innovative way uh, enables our students to, to learn much more effectively. So there are uh, lots of, uh, of opportunities and um, ways that disruption can uh, benefit business schools as well as, of course, uh, presenting a few challenges. There's no doubt that that is also the case. There's no doubt that if you really go into digital delivery in a, in a big way, that there's a lot involved. It, it does require uh, retraining academic staff, professional staff, there is a, a, an infrastructure required, a, a reasonably large investment. But there are lots of small ways that you can um, uh, improve the, the digital delivery and the digital experience that, that, that you offer to, to learners. Um, so a simple thing is, is to use resources that most business schools already have at their fingertips. So for example, just through our learning management systems, uh, uh, platforms like Blackboard, for, for example, uh, they have a lot of uh, resources, a lot of functionality, which often people don't utilize fully in terms of virtual classrooms and, and that kind of thing, uh, which can really quite simply with, with very little or no setup costs can, can help to uh, start to deliver a, a, a quality digital experience to, to learners. Then of course uh, it's very important to encourage the, the learners themselves to uh, engage with the, the digital technologies. Um, you know, we sometimes um, think, and of course it's true, that, that our younger students are digital natives. I mean, they, they have grown up in that environment. But at the same time, they, they don't necessarily know uh, how digital technologies are used in the business world. They're, they're more familiar with uh, the way that teenagers might uh, uh, interact on, uh, on social media and so on. Um, so uh, initiatives, for example, like um, setting up uh, virtual teams of, of students uh, who might be located in, in different campuses or different parts of the world. Uh, that can be a great initiative where, where the students have to work together using uh, digital technology in order to uh, interact and, and to collaborate. Of course, you know, that there is a lot of uh, discussion at the moment around technology and, and uh, particularly in terms of automation and the impact that that will have on, on the jobs of, of the future. Uh, at my business school, like, like um, others, we've uh, actually set up a, a Future of Work Institute, and you know, obviously that's one of the things that they, they look at. Um, but you know, I tend to be a glass half full sort of person. I'm, I'm a fairly optimistic uh, outlook, I, I hope. And uh, whilst it's uh, undoubtedly true that jobs will, will change and some jobs will, will disappear, I, I don't accept the, the, the more gloomy forecasts that all our jobs are going to be dis uh, all our jobs are going to disappear and we're going to be replaced by robots. Uh, I just think that uh, as with previous waves of technological transformation in the past, old jobs disappear, but new ones that we've not even dreamt of yet will uh, will appear. And of course, that's why it's so important that the the students, that the, the learners that we try to educate today, um, that we equip them with with um, uh, core skills. Uh, develop their values hopefully uh, so that they can be adaptable and, and flexible and successful in, in a, a, a changing environment which they will face when they, they get out into the workforce. <laughs>